and happy Wednesday. It is March makeover. Can you believe that it is the end of March? And we have our special guest, awesome Arlene here. Um, and we missed her last week. We are going to be doing um, eyeshadow and lashes today. She's going to be giving us tutorials. So um, make sure you ask questions and share us. Share us with your friends. I'm going to share our page right now so that it gets out to more people. Arlene's going to get her stuff together and then she's going to say hello to you guys. Join us. I think they know me already. And just in case they don't know you. Yeah. Awesome Arlene is here. <laughs> Hi, I'm here Arlene. Yeah. Where's well, our friends? Wait then. It's 4.30. There we go. One person is with us. <laughs> oh yeah, we're actually on time. We're on time. Um, we're excited to see you guys, so hopefully more of you guys will join in. I'm going to scoot in a little closer today. You're going to get to get real close and personal with me. All right, let's get started. All right, we got two people, Arlene. If you're here, give us a heart so we know who's joining us. And I'm going to get in the chair for Arlene. Yay, Tracy, what's up? Forget. All right, so Arlene, can you get in here, though, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good? Okay. I'm going to probably use my hand more than anything. So. Okay. Um, I've next? already kind of... Um, I did her eyebrows already, so Ooh, check them out. that we can start like on the eyeshadow for the most part. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to actually start outline her the bottom of her brow so it looks clean. So I'm going to have her start. I usually start here and I clean up and make this like a straight line. It's hard to see because I tell you her. Yeah, mm -hmm. straight line and kind of outline the brow to make it stay clean. So if you have questions, you guys, go ahead and put them in the box. And you, I'm using a concealer, and you can just use any concealer that matches the skin tone. I usually try to match it pretty good. It's a little bit lighter. It's not bad. Ooh, fancy. It kind of looks like a highlighter a little bit. So you're going to do the same? Yeah. So then I start from here, kind of line, line it. Looking good. Wow. And so it keeps like the shape of the brow so that you don't get like eyeshadow up there. It doesn't get like all messed up. And if you guys are joining, let me see your names out there. Say hello in the box and just say hi and send us a heart. We're excited. Awesome Arlene is here with us. Hi, Janine. Oh, yay. Alicia's here. Alicia. Oh, yes. Sexy Alicia. Sexy Alicia's here. Check out my bushy brows. Bushy's back, Alicia. Bushy's back. And then I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow primer. Where are you, Alicia? Come back. Oh. <laughs> She's going to do I primer like now. I to use um, a paint pot from MAC called Lay and Low. Ooh, I'll hold that for you. And I'm just going to apply this like all over the lid. Hi, Mary. Hi, Janine. So she's doing primer now. And then I kind of try to, sometimes I use my finger. For the most part, I use my finger. I don't know if my nails are gonna allow it. They're not that long though, so maybe. Yeah, I can do it. And kind of just press it into the skin so that it's like smooth. And then all that concealer that you used initially, just blend it together. It's like a smooth canvas. Ooh, very smooth. Wow, that changes everything. That looks cool. So the primer is just so that your eyeshadow stays longer. Look at my brows. Look at those. <laughs> Hi, Mina. Mina's here. She's saying hello. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go in with our shadow. We got 12 friends out here. Hi, guys. We're so happy you're here. Thanks for joining. Hi, Marlene. Check out the eyebrows. We're done primer so far. She's coming back for the shadow now. And then um, I'm gonna do um, kind of like a classic look. If you're in a hurry, I think that it's easy to just do like one shade over the whole lid. And if you have like a shimmery shade and you'll look fine if you wanna get out the door and you don't want anything fancy. This is kind of like, um, I've done this on you before, so I think you like this look. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and yeah. explain while I'm going. Sure. I'm gonna go in with this shade, and this is gonna be like my transition shade. 
And um, and I think last time, because we made this video, remember, but you told them that we have more hooded eyes and you were kind of sharing that. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. So Mary has a little bit of a hooded eye. So when you make... Well, from the hood. So when you make the <laughs> shape of her eye, you want to make sure that when she has her eye open, you can see the shadow, but it, it can't be overpowering her eye or else it'll make her eye look heavy. So what I usually do is I lift the shadow. I, I start here in the corner and then I kind of like concentrate the color there and then push it over like towards the nose. But the color is first applied on the corner and then towards the nose, like kind of even towards like the eyebrow maybe so that when she opens, open, you can still see it there. And you always want to make it like a circular shape. So, cause your eye is round and you want to keep your eye shaped round. Okay. Unless you want a cat eye look, then that's a little bit different. Then you can make it come out more. That's for Alicia after dark. She wants the cat eyes. <laughs> Poor Alicia. <laughs> is she watching? Yeah. <laughs> She's watching. She's always watching. That sounds you creepy. Video? Yeah. Always oh, watching. Ears. Are you trying to get on my video? My boys are coming in right now. They want to say hello. Hi. Hey, hey, you. You. Welcome <laughs> back to another episode of <laughs> Makeup Land. Yeah, my neighbors know this too. Look, Alicia went like this. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Just trying to advertise your After Dark Alicia channel. Wait, she has an after dark channel? She does. <laughs> more too much. She does. Do you want to know more about it, Arlene? Tell me about it. So it's called After Dark with Sexy Alicia dot com. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll focus. Okay. Wait, does she though? Is she starting something? Well we can't tell you right now. It's in the works. Oh okay. <laughs> It's not after dark though, is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't reveal all her secrets. She can come on next time and tell you all what's going on. <laughs> okay, so right now, what are you doing? To, they, they can't see you because your arms right there. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Um, <laughs> Everyone's like, I can't see you. Um, maybe I should stay on this side. Do you want me to move? No. Okay. Just maybe turn your face this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still gonna continue to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just keeping, trying to keep the color here for the most part. And I don't have any face ma um, makeup on her, so if it like spreads anywhere, it's fine, because it's not gonna. So you're doing the eyes first yeah. today. Oh, uh, Alicia says, no, nothing in the works. Just trying to be a, have a quiet life. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> nothing quiet with Mary. Yeah, it's not quiet when you hang out with me. Arlene is gonna start something. Yeah. You wanna share about it? Yeah, sure, you can share. I'll, okay. I'll go along with it. Okay. So, awesome Arlene is gonna start her own lash line. So, do you have some cool ideas for names? We've been thinking of lots of different names for her uh, lashes. So, um, and it all started here on channel MFF, right uh -huh. here. Before she goes big and viral and leaves us, she'll still send us lashes. And visit. I will. I'm so excited. I really have been thinking about this for a very long time, and I always, always scared, and I don't know why. I shouldn't. A lot of things. I think a lot of times we're, and I'm going in with this darker color now, to um, darken the corner. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna, like I said, keep the color in here for the most part. So you're staying on the outside part of the eye then? Yeah. Okay. This is kind of like a classic bridal look. People, when you get taught in school, this is, that's what they say. It's like a classic bridal look. But uh, a lot of people wear it like every day, I think. We're all trying to get married every day, trying to relive that mm -hmm. special wedding day. Oh, I see. I okay. don't usually do that. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, over there, Marlene's crying about the Sexy oh, Alicia yeah. channel. <laughs> Marlene, are you ready to be on my channel? <laughs> Where does Marlene live? Marlene's moving to Idaho. Where does she live now? Um, she lives, Marlene, where are you living right now? She lives around in here in California, just, I think it's like up north from here. 
So, so Arlene, tell us, you were saying you were feeling scared to take a chance. Yeah, so I've always kind of been scared. Like, I, I don't know why we care so much about what people think. And I've realized, I mean, it's taken me years. Like, I've always wanted to be my own boss and have my own business. But I've never um, took in the leap. And I think it's because I'm scared. Why am I so scared? I don't know. Like, what's the worst that can happen? I heard something on a podcast this morning where it was saying, and the, the the person that was talking on the podcast was saying, and then what? So yeah. let's say you do something. What if you fail? And then what? Yeah. So what can happen if you fail? I don't know. You lose maybe money or... But then what? What are you going to do? You're always going to be able to like make more money. You're always going to be able to... It's always kind of like... If, once you break it down, like what is so bad about starting something new, you know? Nothing. I think we're all just <laughs> crippled by fear. I've been crippled by fear for a very long time. And then yeah. now I'm telling everybody about it just so that I can be accountable for for it because I want to do it and I don't want to like back out of it because I said I was going to do it before and then I just kind of lagged it and... Don't worry. I won't let you back out. <laughs> we now put it on... Um, I ca I'm calling this national television, but it's all over social media. So now... We want to know, Lashes by Arlene. What what beautiful names do you have for Arlene and her lashes? Yeah. I need a name so I can start. I said sweet but psycho lashes. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it says make them stare lashes. Ooh, I like that. Illuminated, ooh, illuminated by Arlene. I like Thank it. You. Luminous eyes by Arlene. Maybe it's Arlene's lashes. <laughs> Can I be in her commercial? <laughs> she said yes. Flutterfly. Ooh, I like that. There's actually a flutter lash that I really, that's, I like their lashes, but look up. So now what I'm doing is I'm going in with the same exact colors that I went on the top. On the bottom, look up, and then just kind of like ombre, ombre, I don't know how you say that. Ombre, how do you say it? Ombre, in. Ombre. Yeah, mm -hmm. the same. It's gonna look a little freaky right now, mm -hmm. but um, you want to have the exact same gradient. So like, if I use this color down up there, I want to use this color, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker one on the corner. We can get closer. <laughs> it just got so quiet. So since we're interviewing you, Arlene, with your new lash line that's going to be coming out, <laughs> well, what's your goals? When would you like to have your lash line start? Mm, I never even thought about a time. I just started like looking and I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I haven't really like, like put a timeline on. No, I have re been researching the past few days. Like I think I made the decision the other day, which was... The jump. The, what was the day? It was Monday. Was it Monday? Monday. Just jump in. That's what she's doing. I look like I got in a street fight right now. Are you scared? <laughs> oh, she's got more alluring eyes. <gasps> I like that. Alluring eyes by Arlene. Lash power. Love my lashes. Sexy Alicia lashes. Just kidding. I made that one up. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? Are you having any questions so far for the shadow? Well, and I think, Arlene, while you've been here with me, you said to me one day, you were like, you know, you inspired me to, like, think about doing more. Like, you're doing it all your kids at home and everybody here yeah <laughs> and so Arlene's like why am I not doing something and I was like you can do it too <laughs> we all can and Arlene hit it spot on it's fear it's usually fear fear of many different things the unknown uncertainty failure right 
um, those that, or worrying about what others think that they're going to, you know, whatever. Okay. Say. Judgment. Judge Judgment you. on social media. Okay. Now I'm going in with like a sparkly color. And this is going to be on the inside right here. You kind of just, the brush that you should use should be flat and kind of just rounded like that. So it actually makes the shape on its own. You just kind of tap, tap, tap. When you tap, tap, tap is when you're pressing into the skin. And so you're not like swooshing it because then oh. it's just going to go everywhere. Oh, okay. Because I usually swoosh. So this is the tapping motion. Yeah. Okay. So when you want a color to stay in one place, you tap, tap, tap. So. And then Marlene has a little question for you. She just says, do you always do eyes before foundation? Okay. So that is depending on your preference. When I do my face, I do I do foundation first. When I do a client, I usually do um, I do eyes first, just because I want to make sure that like I want the intensity and like really blow out the eye, and then be able to clean it up, because that's what's gonna happen. Open. Ooh, kind of fun. <laughs> I can make some scary TikToks right now. <laughs> and like dark lighting. Halloween colors. It's really interesting when Arlene does my makeup and she puts like all these different colors on me and how it looks right now and then the end product when everything's done, you know? Oh, and then Marlene says, makes sense. Alicia says, Arlene, I need like a less is more look. I can't pull off the shadow multi-dimensional look. Alicia did. Oh, my friend Alicia? Yes, sexy Alicia. I know. I'm just <laughs> um, Alicia I think this is me. more of a like like a glammy look. It's definitely not like an, I wouldn't, I don't do it every day for sure. Um, but I think it just depends on, I think we just did it like because we wanted to do something kind of. Kind of fun. And you like it? Like yeah, it? I like when she does this one. And then I go and do 20 TikToks in the garage by myself for the next few hours. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with some liner on the top and bottom. Um, my opening closing. Yeah, closing. And then I'm just going to pull her eye. I mean, you don't have to pull her, like, your eye, but it just depends, I guess. And then I'm going to put multiple liners so I'm not, like, too worried about what this looks like. Put the lip down. Open. Open. I just went on Tom's computer and just three straight F's. Three straight F's. Cliff is reporting that my child has three F's on national but social media. But they're straight. Media. They're straight. They're straight. Sorry, straight. Three so down, but look up because F's. I can't read you because this is, chair is kind of high. Okay, look up. Yeah, look up. Oh, good. Look at it. Did you guys hear that? He's got three F's. <laughs> Do they beat up on him? Sometimes. Uh oh. This is not good. Like down in the scissor? You may have to have me step out for a second while you talk to them for two seconds and I just tell them all to go outside. Do you want to do it or no? 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 Okay, I think like down in the scissor. So right now I'm pulling her eye, um, just because I want to get the eyeliner all the way inside the waterline. I know it's hard. I know, but that's cool. But it's gonna all look good at the end. Look up. Put your head more towards me because I can't read through that. Way. Sorry. No, you're that's good. good. It's hard because this. Uh, usually I wear like boots with a heel on because this chair is kind of high for me. I'm short, so when I don't have it, it's like. She said, I don't even know if I can rock this for a night out. Who said that? Uh, sexy Alicia. Alicia. Look down. Tell her I'll do it for her. She said she'll do it for you. Okay. Open and look down that way. That way? Yeah. That's Open. super weird. <laughs> So I'm just actually going in with liner, um, and I'm putting a couple coats of liner because they're different colors and it'll just give it a little bit more pop. You're going to look down and look this way. And I always try to get in the waterline as much as possible because 
Even though you don't know, this is visible when you put lashes on. Oh, wow. Yeah, it opens my eyes up. And we're not this good. It looks Look super up. cool. No questions? Questions, put them up. Arlene is single. She's <laughs> true, then we have any sons, cousins, brothers, grandpas. She doesn't care. Grandpas? <laughs> She doesn't care. They do. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> poor Arlene. I won't be. You won't be saying poor Arlene is a rich. I know. He won't be poor anymore. <laughs> like, it's very. I mean, actually. Okay. Look down and look that way. Open. Oh, wow. That, like, opened up my eyes. I can see it. Can you guys tell? This is fun to watch. I am to I am a makeup fan. Ooh, good. Is he taking all my stuff this time, hopefully? The, the, the mailman? Man. You want to double check? No, it's okay. I think I hear him. I think yeah, he is. Yeah. Not a much. He's chasing down the street. <laughs> She's doing new things to my eyes. She's never done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, really cool. So what I did was I went in with different liners and they all have different tones. The first one had like a reddish tone. Oh. And then the other one, the second one had also like a reddish tone. Ooh, so can you see all the different colors. colors? But I did it also to intensify the look on her eye. Um, sometimes, especially Another one bites pictures the dust. and videos, uh, it gets washed out with the light. So even though it looks a little <laughs> it's a TikTok. Crazy, I'm trying TikToks out it. on you guys. <laughs> she said, "Arlene, do you have a website?" I don't, but I will when I get my lashes. It's time. Yeah, look up. So I'm just kind of cleaning up the under eye because I really don't want all that darkness. Look up. In, in her eye, I just wanted it to smoke out, so it looks like smoky. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, look how that's changed, right? It's really pretty. Hi, Connie. And then turn this way so I can see. And I kind of just clean it with my nail and like guide it along the line. I still want to leave some of it there, so it, it like looks smoked out. I don't want it completely gone. Ooh, that looks so cool. I love it. Usually, like, when I do my own eyeliner underneath, I feel like my eyes look small, but you made them look bigger. Looks cool. Do you guys have any questions? So, how do we contact you if we want to see about getting our makeup done? Go through Mary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. Or on my Instagram? She is um, Cheek Pincher on Instagram. You can follow her there for all her cheek pinching. Watch out, she pinches cheeks. Or Arlene. <laughs> or Arlene Pineda. Um, After Dark Duck. Oh. Should I do the lashes or <laughs> should kidding. I just do your whole... Yeah, do the lashes. Okay. Yeah. Or were you still so, do everything? Well, eventually a little bit. Oh, okay. I didn't I'm know sorry. how long this, this is going to go so, long this, if we do, if we do your Do you guys want to see the whole face? She can do the whole thing. Raise your hand. Give us hearts. If you're going to stay here, we can just keep going. Or we can cut the short and just do lashes. Would you like to see the whole thing done? How long has it been? Let's see. It's been... We're all... <laughs> you look funny. Tell us what you want. What you really, really want. She can do all the makeup or she can just do the lashes. No. Oh, geez. Of course you did. What? Of course you did what? Of course we did what? Okay. Should we just run to lashes? What do you think? We're just waiting for your responses. Is it delayed or something? Um, we just want to know, do you want her to do my whole face or just move on to the lashes really quick? Because we were only supposed to do. Connie says all. Okay. Do it all. Yeah, they're all here. You'll stay for the next like 15 minutes? All right, let's do it. 
Okay, because usually lashes is what I do at the end when you're, it's like to actually finish the look. So I'm just gonna go in now. Um, her eyes are pretty much done, and if I need any touch up, it should be like small, but like look cool, huh? Her eyes look you like amazing. pretty good. Let me see. Like anything. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I love it. I missed you on my birthday. And then um, <laughs> I'm gonna go in and do her face. Okay. You can let me. I'll just keep talking to you guys. So let's have a commercial. You might have really nice eyelashes and brows, but you need the MF Fuel Your Body Challenge. <laughs> because this month, what are we doing, Arlene? Shout out, what are we doing? We are doing Fuel Your Body with Mary Fulton Fit. Yes, so we are gonna be working on eating. And I know that can be scary sometimes, and you don't want anyone to take away your favorite foods. That's not what I'm gonna do. This group is really for a reset, to help you out, to learn better about your portions, about your macros, and about fueling your body the right things to make you feel better. For example, this week, I've been eating a lot of bread. It makes me really slow, lethargic, and makes me not feel good. When I eat my veggies and focus on that, I feel better. Is it okay to have bread? Of course it is. Do I feel better when I eat more veggies? Yes. So doing this group is gonna be something that's just gonna help you reset. These are the little cups, you order them in my shop, it gets you into our group that starts tomorrow. But don't worry, we're not gonna be food prepping tomorrow. We're actually not gonna be food prepping for another full week. First week, we are going to be mentally planning and prepping. So there's still time for you guys to jump into the challenge. So go to maryfultonfit.com, get your MF Fuel Your Body Challenge. Arlene, are you gonna be in the group? I am. She is. I don't know how happy I am about that though. But I do want to lose some weight, so I've been meal prepping the last two days and I feel like my food was so good. Oh, it, she said today, I hate my food. And I said, well, that's not going to make you eat it. So every five seconds, she kept saying, oh my gosh, this is so good. I love my food. <laughs> did it change your perspective, Arlene? Yeah. See, it did. And it actually, it made me want to try her food. So yeah. I took a bite of her chicken and I thought it was good because I didn't make it. We should make each other's food. It tastes better when someone else makes your food. Can I get an amen out there? <laughs> That's funny. It, it really is true. Watch, I make a sandwich, you make a sandwich, and my sandwich will taste better to you, and vice versa. My food is usually always good. I'm a pretty good cook. Oh. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Eileen's doing lashes and cooking now. She's got several channels. <laughs> Sorry if I'm blocking. I just kind of need a drink of a little something. So you're doing the foundation right now? Yeah. Okay. And I usually, when I do clients, I usually like go into the ear just because like the ear sometimes is wetter because it never really shows, especially if you keep your hair down all the time. And I go into the neck. But if you match exactly correctly, you really don't. Not that she didn't match correctly, but like I like to like it not to be boom and then like a whole nother color uh-huh and it all will come together sometimes it looks different like when you just put foundation on like it looks like oh sh she doesn't match but when you put bronzer and blush and all of that like it all will come together i love it just like the nutritional challenge you put all the food groups together it all comes together in the end <laughs> oh it's looking pretty and notice how right now when she put that foundation on Notice how my eyes are popping even more than before, right? Can really see them. You can see the cool things she did. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lori. What's up? Tracy Dempsey in the house. We got all of our friends. I'm excited for the April challenge. You are, Alicia. I'm so excited you're doing it. And Maggie, Connie Bonos, are you joining us? Sign up today. Sign up today. Come on, guys. Tell them about it. What is it about? Yeah, do you want to know more? What questions do you have out there? Maybe you're, you're thinking, I don't want to do it. I don't want to measure my food. What is that little cut for? Am I supposed to eat out of that all day long? <laughs> These are just measuring cups. And basically, like, this is a cup of vegetables. This one's a cup of fruit. And it just helps you guide to measuring and meal prepping and planning. So if you need some help with meal prepping, planning, and learning a different way to um, look at your foods and just new habits, this is the group for you. 
Plus, everybody's really nice in our group. Are they? And they are. You haven't mm -hmm. you haven't joined. It's your turn to meet everybody. Now I look like I'm I'm in going I'm in my tribe right here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Don't be mad. Who said that? It's a personal thing, that's all. No, it's okay, Connie. Listen. I think actually honestly, I think that this one is probably the one that you will see most more change in. Because it's supposedly 80% food, right? And 20% working out. So if you're working out but eating pizza every day, what good does it do you? That's me. I like to eat, so I'll just eat whatever I want, but I'll work out every day so I don't gain weight. Right, but you also want to develop But now that I'm trying to lose it. Right, but you also want to develop that, like changing that relationship with your food. And that's what I'm going to really talk on, you guys. Like, like just... A lot of us do food shaming, body shaming with ourselves. Um, food is a is a hard topic, right? Because there's a lot behind it. A lot of us um, maybe struggle with different um, with different things. There's a lot of you know eating disorders and a lot of different things that we've grown up with. And I shared a lot of stories about the way I grew up and trying a lot of yo-yo diets and how they affected me with food. So feeling like I had to work out to be able to eat. And so, yeah, and so you wanna, you want, in this group, I really wanna emphasize that it's not, and if you notice in my, in my groups, when we work out, I never say we're burning off our food. That's not, I'm not okay with that. Um, that message gets sent out a lot by, by, you know, previous trainers, previous instructors, like, um, I really focus on not that, but feeling healthy and feeling stronger. So um, I don't like I don't like when um, you know other people in the industry say, "Okay, I'm burning off my my food because that's like that's, that's like saying it doesn't belong in your body. You're burning it off. Dude, yeah, it's like well, dude, we, I didn't go on your Chromebook. He, um, we're on a video right no, now. No, he is being a punk. No, 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 not right now. Not right now. Why is it open? Hey, John, can you go outside? Yeah, got in a computer. You. And you, you, you had Instagram oh, on there. Oh, you guys. You had Instagram on there. Guys, guys, guys. Get off. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Stop. Hey, hey, stop. Hey, knock him off. No, he's hey, me. No, 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 you're grounded right now, so nobody's supposed me. to be in the house. You, you need to go sit in the bedroom. You're on a timeout. Take away his Chromebook. Let's get Because I don't know what he's got on him. Alright. Well, hello there. We're back. It's called being a mom. Alright. Alright. And I think Connie wrote something there. What does it say? I think about it. You definitely are making me. What does it say? Rethink I'll think about it. You're definitely making me rethink it after what you just said. It makes sense now. I just want you guys to know that, that my group isn't a yo-yo diet. It's not a challenge per se, where um, you're gonna get rid of all your sugars so that you go crazy and binge. That's the last thing I wanna do to any of my people. Um, I've done that many a times in my life and it doesn't work. Um, so it's really about finding a balance with yourself and learning that you know food is a blessing and a gift. It's not a, um, it's, it's just, there's so so much that goes behind it. Bad food, good food. So I don't like to talk about it like that either. I like to talk about eating healthier, fueling our body better. So real life happens at any time. We moms get it. Yeah, the older one and the little one fighting. Real life, and I love it, Mary. Spoken by the mom of three boys. Oh yes, it's real life here at Mary Fulton Fit. You can ask Arlene. I think Arlene's gonna be interviewed by Oprah, which is Alicia, in the future. Like, what was it like to work inside during COVID? <laughs> and then Arlene's be like, let me tell you all the secrets of the boys beating each other up. Like the, so. They're funny. But Arlene did well, say. Well, the, the funniest part I think is that the oldest one mm -hmm. is the one fighting with the little one. Which oh yeah. They're not that close in age. So I would think the other two or the other. The two, middle, you know, yeah. Look this way. But maybe it's because they're eight years apart. I can't seem to get along. Or maybe it's their personalities. That's you know? probably what it is. Yeah. They both are very stubborn. Um, 
and want to be heard. So, I don't know. Any therapists out there, come on, live at MFF. <laughs> hey, isn't this makeup looking great? So she's doing like concealer under my eye, right? Is that what you're doing, concealer? Yeah, I was doing concealer makeup. But I feel like I smoke, I've lost a little bit of the smoke yet on this side, so I'm just gonna go back in there a little bit. And give me more smoke? Ooh, it looks amazing. Where are we going tonight, Alicia? Pick me up. <laughs> yes, Arlene, what does that say? Arlene and... Yes, Arlene, what marriage and child raising tips did you walk away with? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Arlene's like, like mm, maybe I don't want kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But you did say today, who is this kid about Yeah, Cliff? it was weird. So she's getting to see what Cliff is like when he goes back to school and he's a happier person so that different made, child that made me happy yeah. but see that's the effects and you know we can even talk about that while she's doing my makeup the effects of COVID for the last year has is going to have effects on us it's not just over right like we we're going back to normal and things but there's going to be new challenges for us to face with our children and our jobs and different things because of you know for a full year of being in quarantine social, mental, emotional things. We can get through it for sure, but there's things that we have to identify, especially with our little people, because they don't know how to express or, you know, say like, hey, I'm hurting. Or they might not even know that they're hurting or that's yeah. why, why they're lashing out. Or they don't know why they're lashing out, they're sick. Yeah, six years old. At six years old, not seeing your friends forever, you know? Alicia, back to April challenge. Uh, fueling our bodies is a challenge hard. Um, like a lot of work. Let me see. It's, these are good questions. Planning, big part of this. Yes, so the first week of this challenge will be me having you do, you know, little um, assignments every day um, to start preparing for what you're going to make for your foods. But I will also give you lots of different options. For example, maybe you like to, you don't food prep at all. You've never done it, right? Maybe you don't like to eat food that's pre-made. Some people don't like that. Um, so these are gonna be all the things I'm gonna talk about. So it will be leveled for different, um, different learning because everyone's in a different place. Yeah. So, uh, but definitely that first week is gonna be learning how to plan, your shopping list and um, what you're gonna be eating. Some of the stuff is probably gonna be the same stuff you are eating already. You're just gonna be rethinking some of it. So you don't need to recreate the wheel, okay? That's one thing. For the challenge, do you give us recipes and we go shop for the stuff or how exactly does it work with the prepping of, of food? Great question, Connie, I love that. So. I always post recipes and will give you some recipes that are fun that I like to do, um, some simple things. Um, but from there, I'll help you build. We'll go live as well. Um, I'll go live on, on the group. I'll also do Zoom call lives with Q and A's um, where we can collaborate and bring things together. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of that support for you um, on there. Um, but it's not like here is what you eat, go do it. Um, actually, technically, the only person that can do that for you is a dietitian. okay? Just so you know. Nobody out there on media can give you a meal plan, no trainers, they are not dietitians. that is out of their scope of practice. Mm -hmm. So, what I can do as a certified nutrition, precision okay. nutrition, is I can give you ideas and I can help you kind of guide and tell you, but I cannot give you your own meal plan. That is for a dietitian to do. I just want you guys to know that. So if you go to someone, they're like, oh yeah, I'm a health coach. They're not a dietitian. They technically can't really give you a food plan. It's not in their scope of practice. We gotta stay within our scope, right? Like I'm not a psychologist. I cannot give those kind of, that kind of information. I can do motivations. Um, wow, my makeup's looking so cool. How's it look? Oh, 
Um, right now I'm just bronzing her face, pretty much. I usually go in with like multiple bronzers just because um, when you have different bronzers, they have different undertones and they give her different dimensions. The one I used first was by MAC. It was like, I think under the sun. And then that just is a little bit more golden. The one I'm using now is mm -hmm. Anastasia. It's a little bit more of a cool so undertone. Wow, you really made me look different. I'm ready to go out now. Sean wow. Moody, my hubby's friend. What's up, Sean Moody? We're doing March makeover, Sean. Do you want to come over and get your makeup done? No, <laughs> That's what with friend from like youth. Other one, this is a Chanel bronzer. Ooh, Chanel bronzer here. Check this out. And then Alicia, you said, but can you make the food for me, Mary? Ah! Yeah, Mary, can you? Mm-hmm. Skippy, what school do you go to? You should do meals the people that live in Long Beach. What school do you go to? Yeah. 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 How is that? Cause that's I think that's the hardest part is that people don't like to make the food like they. Make it. And then they also like when it, you meal prep. I know because I meal prepped on Monday. It's hard because you do the same thing over and over. And you get Ooh. yeah, you yes. get bored of it. Yeah. So you could do a food swap. Keep I love on. this look on you. Oh, thank you. Um, you could do a food swap. Hey, I mean, if there's some of you guys that are in the group and you're in the area and you want to do some food prep, thank you, Marlene, um, food prep in person, we could totally, you know, bust out my kitchen and the grill. You guys can come live in here in my kitchen and see what I do. It's crazy if you're ready for it. Right, Rita Andrews? What's up, girl? Look, Arlene's making, changing my whole face. Makeup changes everything. How much to fly you out to Colorado to do my makeup for the wedding? Oh, kidding, but you got skills, girl. Ooh, Arlene will do it. Mary's looking like a hot mama. Well, thank you, Donnie. When's your wedding, Connie? This is exciting. Amanda Borini, it's my niece. Hi, hi, Rita. Thank you so much. I think I look gorgeous, darling. Is that what that says? <laughs> She's changing me. The eyes look really cool. So that's what that it's all coming together. I'm it's kind of all... glad we did it all together because I feel like it wouldn't have all came together as it is now. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't have been like, oh, it looks great, you know? Right? Like... April 17th. Oh, it's around the corner. It's around the corner. Do you have a makeup artist? She probably does that because she's like, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you want to fly Alina, Alina, how much are you? <laughs> she can DM me if she's interested. You can DM her. She is really good though. Another thing that I know I'm doing is I'm um, using, I'm applying blush, but I'm also pressing it into the skin so that mm -hmm. it stays longer. Um, I usually, don't do as much powder as I do normally, but I know she's gonna make videos and she's gonna kind of want it to last. So I um I did some powder. Sorry. My ear was sorry. I'll be back in a bit. I know she's getting mad at me. She just hit me. Oh. <laughs> she told me to smile. <laughs> you can talk to her. Okay. Let's see. I think you and Mr. Mary Fulton need to go on a date you can't let that beautiful makeup go to waste oh thank Aww. you megan i know right we should that sounds fun instead i lock myself in a garage and do tiktoks <laughs> i like your idea though I'm just reading the comments. Diane Morada, what's up, girl? So, Arlene knows how to do miracles. Alicia's laughing at me. She goes like this. Gotta do those TikToks, Alicia. You wanna do a TikTok? Hey, bro, you wanna do a TikTok? TikTok, bro? <laughs> And I'm gonna go in with the lashes. Oh, we're going in with the lashes now. Okay. And then she'll finish us off with some lips. So I'm gonna use, okay, so when you do lashes, you always 
this is Mary didn't do this before and I think it's kind of funny. You always want to measure the lash because they're not universal. They're not all sizes fit. You have to measure it to your eye. I'm going to try this wispy Ooh. and I'm also going to try two different two different types of lashes to see um, which looks better on her eye. Not every lash looks good on every eye. Sometimes when you do the um, lash that's winged at the end, it can make your eye look down if you mm -hmm. don't put it on right. Um, sometimes when you do that winged lash, you want to put it a little bit above the eye, um, not right on the lash line because that's when it, it becomes droopy. If you put it above, it kind of like lifts your eye versus yeah. dropping your eye. Yeah, totally. So when you were gone, I was putting some lashes on and I tried just like tilting it up a little bit and then I added eyeliner and it really makes my eyes look open and more like cat eye. These are some tricks, people. For clothes, I'm gonna just try two different lashes on her eye and I'm gonna see which one I like better. We should have a vote. Oh, yes, yeah, let's right. vote. You, it's not like tape glued on so you won't be able to really, really see. Am I supposed to open my eyes open? Sorry, I'm gonna block it real quick. I actually like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. It's a little bit softer. I like that one. Which one was it? It was the wispy one. This first one? Yep. Yeah. So we're going with the wispy lash, this one. I liked it too on my eye better than the other one. Mary, is there space left for the April challenge? I need to tell Peep so they don't miss out. Oh my gosh, Alicia, yes. We have 50. We, have, we still have spots open. We are at 50 right now. We still have 50 spots left. So let's do this right now. Sign up today. Emma, fuel your body. You need some help. Have a healthier relationship with your food and with yourself. It's not a crash and burn diet. It is not a keto or a starve yourself or a bar or a shake or a cleanse. It is a learning how to eat better, learning how to plan better, and prepare for your everyday life. Straight. Straight. Okay. 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 This way, water is a lot more. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just curling her lash so that like I could fit the lash on top and then her lashes are not like pew and then the other lashes up. You want them to kind of like blend together. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, I don't look like this in the early morning when we're doing the upper body challenge. <laughs> it's fun. Thanks, Kim. So what are you doing now? I'm just putting some mascara on. The mascara usually like helps it, um, helps the natural lash kind of like go together with the fake lash. So she's doing um, like a thin layer and then I'll do one at the end to stick them together. Again. So she sees she put mascara on before she put my lashes on. Did you? Did I no, I have one. Okay. So how do you measure lashes, Arlene? So you usually want to sit it in your eye like where you want it. So I want it like right where her natural lash starts. But she has all this left over. So she, I'm going to take about this much off of the lash. That makes sense. I have little eyes. Yeah. So if you don't do that, it's going to look all wonky. And it can also droop your eye. We don't want droopy eyes. Whew. Back to the MF Feel Your Body Challenge. What are you feeling your body with? Join me on the dark side. Just kidding. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's always like a movie that I go into or a song. Join me and we shall rule the galaxy with vegetables and fruits. <laughs> Just laughing by myself. Somebody... Give me something from Star Wars out there. I know somebody's a Star Wars fan. So you can take more will be saving you because you're doing something else. We've been through this. We 
Right here. I'm gonna hold this. Okay. You don't get to make your own rules. It's getting it's intense. Delicious. And when we say something, any that's questions? Exactly what we need. Any questions? Comments? I scared you about ruling the galaxy with vegetables and fruits. <laughs> Have you guys ever juiced before? Celery juice? I was doing that consistently, and I haven't in a while. My juicer is sitting on my counter. So this is the time in this group to get all of your machines <laughs> to work. What do you have at home that just sits there and is collecting dust? We've got, I've got a juicer, I've got a crock pot, I've got a rice cooker, I've got an air fryer that I haven't been using, I've got um, a, what's the other one, Instapot. What do you have at home, Marley? I have a juicer, which I did juice this week. Good. Uh, you know, I did my meals or whatever. But I juiced nice. for three days. And then I... Celery and pineapple, yum. What's that? Okay. And I have a food processor that I've never used. How embarrassing. And you have a food presser? What, what? Processor, I've never used it. Okay, so see, this is the time to start breaking out all of our appliances and using them. Oh, you juice. Why did you stop using it? You know why, Amanda? Because I was trying to do it early in the morning, but my classes have gotten earlier and earlier. And I can't seem to juice at four in the morning. Sarlene's putting those lashes on. She did some glue. Can you see the lash eye and no lashes? Just gonna do the other one. Just look down. Don't look. Bring your lashes. Look at the cheek. Okay. Look down. And you just want to get the lash as close as you can to the lash line. Sometimes it's tricky. A lot of people have trouble doing it. I usually use a tweezer on myself. Um, if, if you think it's hard doing it on yourself, it's harder doing it on a client. Open. I'm sure it's way harder doing it for somebody else. Because the other girl that did my lashes, she puts the glue on, but she makes me close my eyes. I don't like to do that because um, if you get the glue, if it's a little wet, sometimes it'll like go down and then it could uh, get on the bottom lash and then you'll do your eyebrow. Yes, so that's kind of what happens. And then she says to open it. <laughs> I didn't like, like that either. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. juice before workout? So technically I was following um, this guy, it's like his name's Anthony Willems, um, who does, it's all about like cleansing your body and your liver and everything and being super healthy. Um, so he recommends to not drink coffee and stuff like that. So it's been really hard for me to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but he recommends 32 ounces of, is it 30? No, 16 ounces of uh, lemon water first, 15 minutes later, celery juice only, pure, and then he does his um, special smoothie that has all this fruit in it. So that's what I was trying to follow. So, um, so because I wasn't juicing before the before the morning, then I was like, oh, I'm supposed to do it in the morning. But I really think that if you, it's great to juice, you know, get your juices in all throughout the day. Yeah, because even, even if you don't juice in the morning, it might not have like the complete benefits of whatever it's supposed to do like in the morning, mm -hmm. but you're still putting good stuff into yes. your body. Yeah, so, you know, kind of getting out of that mentality that if you don't do it like exactly correct, that, you know, at least you're getting into the habit of doing it. So like, 
getting back to the habit of juicing and then eventually maybe doing it at you know oh dark 30 at five in the morning um but yeah i want to get back to it. it made me feel better i just felt better doing the celery juice i'm gonna go back into your eyebrow a little bit because mm -hmm. i feel like it um Go outside and like yeah. Make it a little bit. You want to turn the light on brighter? Yeah. Yeah. It's just okay. Do you guys have any questions? Amanda said, I was there when you got it, and it's so cute. You got me excited about to try it. What? The, the um, are you talking about the juicer? Yeah. I was really excited about the juicer. I used it all that time. I just haven't used it. For the last like three months or so but I'm coming back to the juicing <laughs> you want what are you gonna red or mm. red I can't help it I'm addicted to red unless you want to do nude what do you want to do this is the one way to keep her quiet she's not laughing I can say whatever I want, and she can't respond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, Arlene? <laughs> you like your lips? Because you're not closed. I think this was the hardest thing. Turn your face up this hard. The hardest thing for me to like really conquer is even still. Sometimes I have to go in and clean it up. Because somebody's lip is it's way different than. On your own, on yourself. I knew you were going to laugh, Alicia. What'd she say? She's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, don't worry, Alicia. Tomorrow morning, you and me are TikToking. <laughs> TikToking. TikToking. To the TikTok. Tick the tick 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 Oh, Alicia, because she wants me to be quiet tomorrow. Mr. Fulton's going to start doing my lipstick. <laughs> Do people ever say, well, how come Mr. Fulton never comes on? Do mm -hmm. they ever want him to come on? Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he do it? Because he's shy. Yeah, because he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Put your I think the top is off. I don't know if you're regular. That. <laughs> yeah, this, oh my gosh, this one looks funny right here. I'm not. Like, oh. I look like Elvis right here, this side. <laughs> Arlene is coming. Yes. Who said? Oh, tomorrow Beautiful morning. Beautiful Arlene. Yes, Arlene's coming to the TikTok at five and five thirty. My side. Celery juice. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? Sorry. I am just kind of cleaning it up. Getting stuff. Like this makeup. It's just makeup. It's just this part. This side. This side? No, the other side. Really? That's this side. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, I know my like lip. Right? lip? Yeah. So like I work for beauty pageants and in beauty pageants we overline lips a lot so sometimes I don't realize that I got overlined. Oh yeah. yeah.
pictures. Oh, Patrick asked if I could go to Dairy Queen with them. You're going to Dairy Queen? I asked, but I've practiced at 6.45. I don't know what time it is. It's 5.30. We'll be back in like 35 minutes. Where's Dairy Queen? Can there I go you. with DQ too? Dave or Patrick are probably taking this. Yeah, you need to ask her down. Right. Okay, let's see. Why don't you just read it? Ooh la la, I it's love it. Yes, now it looks, yes, now it looks more like my lips. Yay, ta-da! Look how white your teeth look. I know, my teeth look really white. Hey, you know what you think sometimes you can't do red lipstick? I'm going to tell you right now, you can do red lipstick. I thought that I couldn't do red lipstick, and Arlene brought me into a new world where red lipstick is everything. Now I'm addicted. I want red lipstick all the time. <laughs> Yay! What does Alicia say? I don't help? Yeah, I don't help. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, the red lipstick? What oh, do you probably need? about talking like, well, I don't, I'll, I'll let me do your lips. Or... Yay. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Miss Arlene just did my makeup. And um, so do you guys have any questions? We did shadow, lashes, the whole face, the lipstick all together here for the very end. Thank you, Tanya. Um, she is a pro. She just came back from uh, a whole bunch of beauty pageants, so... Thanks, Alicia. I know, now we need to go somewhere. Let's have a party, everybody. <laughs> Let's go celebrate my birthday again. <laughs> okay, no, 5.30 a.m. TikToks. Oh, that's what Alicia said. Oh, yeah, those are early. Uh, well, you can come over tonight. We could do it. Do you want to just come now? I'm going to be in there TikToking. <laughs> do you guys have any questions for Arlene before we go? Well, I think we've been on live for like an hour, right? Probably. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Arlene, for doing March Makeover. Will you pop your cute little face in? You guys give her a round of applause and hugs. Um, please follow Arlene Cheek Pincher or Arlene Pineda. And um, on Facebook, you're the same thing, right? It's just my name. Yeah. Just Arlene Pineda. And if you guys need your makeup done and you want to know more about it, you know, um, just contact her. She does makeup and hair. So um, she's going to curl my hair right now, but she does both. And if you have a special photo shoot or a good Thank you, Marlene. Yay, Arlene's the best. We love her. She's awesome, Arlene. So thanks, you guys, for tuning in to MFF. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for the MF Feel Your Body, don't, don't wait. Sign up today. Come on, I'm waiting for you guys. We're going to help you. We're going to coach you through it, help you to have a better relationship with your food and food prepping, meal prepping. And you know what? We always do better when we have a team. So we have a team of 50-something women already. Um, so join us today. What's stopping you? If you have questions, just let us know. All right. We love you guys. See you Thanks tomorrow, so Rita. See you tomorrow, Rita. Pop it. Oh, look at Alicia. She's giving me a heart. We love Arlene. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye. Stronger together. Mind, body, and soul.